The government announces a plan to give short-term licenses to television deflector operators. The Minister for Justice says she has reached the end of her tether over Garda splits. And Belgian police are heavily criticised in a report on the child sex and murder scandal. Hello and welcome to 6-1. Also on the programme this evening, the European Union agrees to reduce fish catches by up to 30% over the next five years. In County Antrim, another Catholic church has been extensively damaged by fire in a suspected arson attack. And we report on the position concerning young jockey Shane Broderick, critically injured following this fall at Ferry House. But first this evening, the government has announced a short-term licensing system to deal with the difficulties over the controversial television deflector systems. The Cabinet decision was outlined in the Doyle this afternoon by Communications Minister Alan Jukes. He described it as an equitable and practical solution to a problem that had haunted successive governments. However, the Fianna Fáil spokesman Seamus Brennan said the new scheme was a con job and a sticking plaster solution. The future of the TV deflector system serving remote parts of the country has become a hot political issue in the shadow of a general election. Deflector groups have been demanding government action to ensure a continuation of the services. They've backed up their campaign with a threat to run election candidates. Today the cabinet decided on action to put the deflector systems on a legal basis through a three-year licensing scheme. Transport, Energy and Communications Minister Alan Jukes told the Doyle that it was an equitable and practical solution of the problem. The new scheme is intended for use only in the non-cabled areas of the country. Unlike the services provided on cable relay and MMDS, the new scheme will provide a very basic service. It is envisaged at this stage that there will be provision for the retransmission of a maximum of four television programme services in any one place. Licences, when issued, will expire on the 31st of December 1999. Current deflector operators will be eligible to apply, as will MMDS operators, cable relay operators and those not currently providing any such service. Mr Dukes told deputies that while the deflector system was illegal and unlicensed, there was de facto competition for the provision of multi-channel services. What I'm doing today is announcing a process which will create the conditions for fair competition as far as it's possible in the sector. It will be open to deflector operators, MMDS, cable and others to apply for these licenses. However, the opposition scathingly dismissed the deflector proposals as a sticking plaster solution to get the government over the election period. Because anyone running a deflector system now, tonight, will know. They've got three years, their system will deteriorate, because the minister says it will deteriorate, other people and the national broadcasting coming on the waves, uh, huge economic costs applicable immediately, uh, and no guarantee.